Hey guys, I'm Andy and this is Sandy. I'm playing some Lord of the Rings, War in the North. Um, I've been going through four now, so I thought I'd do a Let's Play and show you the fight with Tharzog. Which is in the citadel of Fornost. The big one is Thazor, a chieftain of the force of Mount Grand. Chieftain, huh? Good. I'm playing as the dwarf right now, but I could play as either the elf or the archer as well.
so that's just a little bit of gameplay of Lord of the Rings War in the North. Um, I'll probably do some more later, but just thought I'd show you some. And can't forget to do all the things that you can loot. Rivendell burning, and your mongrel father hauled before me in chains. You will do nothing. Your plots end here. My work is only just beginning. Do you think you two alone can hope to stop me? They are not alone. Don't look for your guards. They won't be coming. Fornos means nothing. You haven't won anything here. He's escaping! We cannot hope to follow him now. But I can! Alright, the eagles. Sorcery of Sauron! This is no natural storm! It is no use. He has escaped us for now. Yes, but you cannot be blamed. It was bold of you to go after him alone. Indeed, though perhaps it was not the wisest course. He summoned a storm. How can a man wield such power? Sauron is a master of dark sorcery. He has taught these arts to mortals before. It may be that Agandar learned at the hand of the Dark Lord himself. It is worse than Agandar alone. We faced orcs in the ruins below that cast spells against us. Never before have I encountered orcs who use sorcery. This could mean Agandar has passed his knowledge on to others. Even to the orcs. That would be a great evil, even for one such as he. If only we could have finished that snake here and now. I have a feeling he won't stay quiet for long. But what now? Where do we go from here? For my part, I would gladly join in the hunt for Agandar. Yet, I have my duty to consider. I must return home to inform Lord Gwaihir of all I have learned here. Aye. Your duty to your people must come first. I'm glad we met, Bella. I hope we will meet again one day. As do I, Farron of Erebor. You and your comrades saved my life. That is something I will not forget. If I can ever be of service to you, I will. Farewell wherever you fare, Belaram. Till your Aerie receives you at your journey's end. My thanks! Commend me to Elrond, your father, and farewell. As for us, I believe we also have a duty to inform our allies of all we have learned. For me, that means a return to Sanford. Halbarad, my captain, will be eager to hear our news. Yes, we cannot say what forces still threaten the Shire. The Rangers may have need of us. Should you find Halbarad has no pressing need of your services, I would urge you to make your way to Imladris. We may have need of your strength and resourcefulness before long. 
But what about Aragorn and the Hobbit he was looking for? He's probably got his hands full with the Black Riders here. Shouldn't we try to help them? If Aragorn has found this Hobbit, it is certain they will both be bound for Imlantris. He is several days ahead of us now. We shall look for him as we go, but Aragorn is resourceful. I suspect he will arrive at Imlantris before we do. There are still some goblin skulls down below in need of cracking. Shouldn't we deal with them? Goblins are only a threat when they have a strong leader to drive them on. With their chieftain slain and Agandar fled, those few who remain in Fornost will soon fall to squabbling among themselves. And we may find more important tasks awaiting us elsewhere. Then we'd best head back to Sarnford. Farewell for now. So that was the end of Fornost. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.